Most people in America are familiar that there is a U.S. Constitution that was written by a whole bunch of guys long ago to protect our rights in America. At the same time, over the evolution and course of history and heritage, we discovered there were certain things about the Constitution that didn't quite fit us anymore and that they were sort of missing, and therefore we got the amendments, which is called the Bill of Rights. In America, we don't know what is and isn't acceptable to do in our bodies and in our faith and in our families is not true. We have years of research in practically every motherfucking industry and new ones coming that we need to be familiar with, and that is openly on you. In life, we have to understand that a pastor's call is what he is called to do. And my pastor's call is to be a pagan priest and develop the Illinois Federation of Paganism, or the Illinois Pagan Federation. I wrote a sign, but some marvelous bastard at a uh, campus management property group stole all my artwork and signs and literally threw them in the trash. He also stole a thousand dollars worth of value that I had pulled from the trash, like a toaster oven that I really would have liked to have had at this moment of time, and opened the other things for me without ever consulting me. His attitude is, you're on my property, but what he didn't think about was city ordinances which allowed the homeless people of our community to be safe from people like that. In America today, we have a lot of hate brewing. We have a lot of hate stewing. We have a lot of reverse racism happening. We have a lot of people who are doing illegal, immoral things in front of God. The problem is they don't care. They don't care that they're immoral in front of God. They don't see their life as being abused by God. They don't see God as angry at them. They don't see God rebuking them. They don't feel that from their family and friends, but there's probably some relative, some mature seasoned person of faith who said, I don't think you should do that. And that was, in truth, the voice of God. But at the same time, we have people who feel that they are super seasoned as ministers of the Lord, who think they know everything there is about the house of God, and yet they totally deny that the Holy Ghost is really present in our life today. And I am incredibly passionate about teaching the faith fob to any person who's willing to submit their life to the Lord. You see, if you're not willing to submit your life fully to God in terms of every decision of your life, then please don't approach me to teach you about, well, the faith fob. Now that's kind of extreme, you might say, and it is true that I do teach other people who are confused about God and really worried about their life and really needing some advice outside of some 20-year-old friend of theirs that don't know shit about life. And I do gift, and I often do not sell, but I give a gift that God has asked me to create in jewelry of a faith fob to someone that God says, you know that one in your pocket? Give it to them. They need it. And those people might already have a little juju and a little juice from God in their life. And when they start to submit to God and say, should I do this? Should I give this? Should I help this? And they ask the angels, they ask the Lord to have the allowance of, their, of the accessibility of their angels. Then they, then they start to change their marvelous life into something more holy and more wholesome and more healthy for their life, for their family, and for their legacies.